Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about 74148 8x3 priority encoder. In most of the examinations, students are asked to answer directly with the IC numbers. There is no direct specification is not given. Okay. Uh, student will be asked like a question. Draw the logic diagram of 74148 and give the VHDL code in behavioral model or structural model or data flow model. If a student gets question in that way, then he or she should be able to un, uh, analyze what is this 74148. Okay, so even if you prepare, there is a little bit of confusion. So definitely you have to buy hard the names. 74148 is a priority encoder which is 8 by 3, 8 inputs and 3 output. Okay, 74138 is also there. 74138, 138 is 3 to 8 decoder. 3 to 8 decoder so don't confuse and 139 is there several ICs are there so don't confuse with the IC numbers by hot jumpers okay so now let us see the logic symbol logic symbol so 8 by 3 priority encoder the logic symbol is very very important see here unlike the previous normal encoders we are having some additional output pins okay so this is enable input <coughs> enable input and all the inputs and outputs are active low here <coughs> okay all the input and outputs are active low pins remember this so i7 8 pins 8 inputs are there i7 i6 i5 i4 i3 i2 i1 i0 see i0 to i7 8 inputs are there and this is the enable input pin enable input pin now coming to the output side see this is 74148 okay coming to the output side gs which is active low a2 a1 a0 these are the three output pins which are also active low e0 output and everything okay here gs means group select gs means group select and these are the three output pins output pins this is group select and this is output enable pin this is input enable pin and these are all input pins okay this is what the logic symbol and the input and outputs of the 74148 okay once again i am repeating 74148 has 8 input pins and 3 output pins along with these 8 and 3 we also have enable input pin enable output pin and group select pin okay i will tell what is the purpose of this group select pin when we go into the truth table okay and mainly the enable input pin and enable output pin are used for the cascading of this 8 by 3 priority encoders multiple times so let us see the truth table truth table is somewhat larger because it is having eight inputs along with one enable pin and three outputs and two more outputs group select and enable output so enable input pin ei i7 i6 i5 i4 i3 i2 i1 i not and coming to outputs a2 a1 a not group select and enable out let us divide what is what see this is inputs this is enable input and these are output pins and this is group select and this is output enable output enable this is group select 
Group select is activated when all the output pins are one. Okay, all the output pins group is activated, then we can take a group select as one. And these are output pins, and these are input pins. This is enable input. Okay, now. So, if enable input is equal to 0, if input enable pin is 0, then irrespective of, irrespective of, sorry, this is 1 because uh, that is active low pin, active low pin, active low pin means that should be 1. See here, this is 1. 1 means the chip is disabled. Chip is disabled. So, irrespective of the input combinations, there is no output. No output means all outputs are 1. 1 means deactivated. 1 means deactivated or disabled. Okay, group select is, group select is activated and enable out is also 1 because the chip is deactivated. Chip is deactivated. And now enable input is activated and we are giving the least significant bit to be activated and then it is 001. It is 001 and group select is now deactivated because the group select is activated when all the output bits are 1. All the output bits are 1. And enable pin is also 0. Enable pin, enable input and enable output both are same. Okay, if enable pin, enable pin input is activated, then enable output pin is also activated. Otherwise, both are not activated. And 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And what is the value you have to consider here? Is it 0 or 1? Both may be considered. So, that is why it is cross. So, even it may be 0 or 1 which is the MSB bit I0 and I1, I1 is the MSB, so 1 is the output, see this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and again 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, again XX, so 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 1, so, third pin is activated. So, the remaining all are simply do not care conditions whether they are zeros or ones, whatever it is, it is simply 0, 1, 1 because 3 is MSB here and it is 1, 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is cross. So, all other lower order bits are not activated. So, fourth bit is activated. The corresponding Binary representation of the 4 is 100 zero, zero, and it is 10. Zero. Zero, zero, 001 do not care. So, do not care means either 0 or 1. So, fifth is activated. So, 101 one, it is 10. Zero. And 0, zero, zero sorry, 1. This is 1. So, cross 110, 10. Now, coming to the last one, 0, 1, all other are do not cares and now it is 1, 1, 1. See here, all are 1s. So, group select is activated and enable pin is also 0. Hope you understand what is the purpose of group select. Group select is saying that all other, all output pins are activated or deactivated okay here we have chosen it for deactivation state so when all the output pins are deactivated simply we are taking it as group select as activated a group select means it is enabled okay and how can you write the output boolean expressions for these see once if you are able to draw the if you are able to write the boolean expressions you can simply write the data flow vhdl code very simple because from the Expressions itself directly you can use and gate, not gate, or gate. Simply you can write the data flow model of the VHDL style. Okay. 
see when a naught is activated when a naught is activated a naught is activated here in this case first one so what is this here in this case it is i7 bar i6 bar i5 bar i4 bar i3 bar i2 bar i1 plus and here it is also i7 bar i6 bar i5 bar 4 bar i3 and similarly here i7 bar i6 bar i5 and the last one i7 okay so as i7 is there and remaining all are i7 bars we can eliminate that i7 bar okay i will write the final equation similarly i have a1 and a2 also so the boolean expressions are boolean expressions are a naught is equal to i1 i2 bar i4 bar i6 bar plus i3 i4 bar i6 bar plus i5 i6 bar plus i7 and similarly a1 is equal to i2 i4 i5 bar i4 bar i5 bar and i3 i5 bar plus i6 plus i7 and similarly a2 is equal to i4 i5 i6 i7 okay so in this way we can write the boolean expressions see once these boolean expressions are ready simply we can write the vhdl code okay thank you